Now let's talk about the Rheinmetall Lynx KF41 IFV. One of its main features is its versatility. If needed, it can even turn into a light tank with a 120mm caliber smooth ball gun, the same one found in the Leopard to tank. In its basic version, it comes with a 35mm Wotz and automatic cannon, a 7.6mm machine gun, and a TGM launches. This vehicle is designed for a crew of three and up to nine infantrymen. It can reach speeds of up to 70 km per hour and handle a payload of 18 tons. A pretty interesting light armored vehicle are shown up at the IDEX Defense Show. It's called Stinger and is made for three crew members. Its main job is reconnaissance, patrolling, and similar tasks. What makes the Stinger stand out is that it can be controlled remotely if needed. It can also go as fast as 120 km per hour. On top of that, the team who built it have made sure that it can protect the crew to Stanig 45, 60 standards. In simple terms, it can take a hit from a 7.6 to by 51 mm NATO bullet from about 30 meters away. Plus, it has mine protection that can save soldiers from a 10 kilogram landmine explosion. And if needed, the Stinger can be fitted with not just machine guns and 12.7 or 30 millimeters cannons, but also rocket launchers, all according to the needs of the customer. On today's lineup, we have the X Tender Micro Tactical System. It's all about flexible surveillance and recon drones. With X Tender, Users can operate one or more drones using virtual or augmented reality. The controls are super easy. The operator only needs a hand and no special skills. x -tender devices can fly up to 2 kilometers on one charge. Each drone can carry up to 150 grams of cargo. Plus, they work great in tight spaces. No GPS needed. To top it off, the x -tender software comes with AI-based programs. Contact Industries specializes in various protection solutions. Take the GP3M system, for instance, designed specifically to safeguard gun ports. This system, according to the company, works well for both vehicles and structures, providing protection against 12.7 by 99 MP armor-piercing ammunition. These holsters were developed by Special Forces veterans, which means there's more to their simple design that meets the eye. They come with seven-stage protection, yet they offer quick and easy access to their contents. It's so speedy that you can shave over three seconds off the reload time. Moreover, they are so convenient that they can be easily handled, even in complete darkness. On top of all that, these holsters are surprisingly tough. Take, for instance, this grenade pouch that weighs just 125 grams. It can withstand being run over by a car without a hitch. It's no wonder the team has filed several patents for these holsters. The Flea LVSS creators are taking an innovative approach. They can turn a regular pickup truck into a surveillance hub within minutes, with a 5-meter masts featuring a mix of radar, cameras, and sensors. It can cover a 20-kilometer radius around the clock. They claim this system can track over 500 targets at the same time notably. Flea LVSS not only displays these targets on the map, but also sorts them into categories. The operator doesn't even need to step out of the cabin. All the essential info appears on two 17-inch screens that come with the system. SABS camouflage nets find buyers in more than 40 countries including the U.S. and for good reason. SAB has been offering camouflage solutions for 60 years. Let's check out the Barracuda Old Cast FSS. This camouflage net features radio transparency. It conceals soldiers and vehicles from thermal imaging cameras, but still allows radio and GPS signals to pass through. SARB claims these unique properties can't be found in any other net. They also mentioned that Barracuda Old Cast FSS effectively blocks signals like radar in the 1 to 100 gigahertz range and reduces heating from sunlight by about 80%. Psylinx Claris finds use among not just the military, but also law enforcement worldwide. These noise-canceling headphones come from Psylinx Communications, a major player in the industry. They can block noise exceeding 115 decibels, survive 30 minutes underwater at a depth of ometer, and function well in temperatures from 
55 to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Wearers stay aware of their surroundings while using these headphones, and when necessary, they can easily link up with smartphones and radios. JFD has come up with an equally handy innovation. This company is known as the world's top provider of underwater gear and attire. They teamed up with the U.S. Navy to create the ShadowNav module. It attaches to a diving mask and uses a projection display to show important data like course, depth, and dive time. It even lets the user adjust the brightness and switch between meters and feet. The module is designed to catch the interest of both military and civilian experts, making tasks easier, even in situations where it's too dark, even with extra lighting. Now let's explore a new trend in grenades. Allow us to introduce NAMO, a modular grenade with adjustable power. The concept is quite straightforward. The grenades are put together using two or three components and share a common fuse. There are two grenade types used for NAMA. The first one is filled with 115 grams of TNT and hexagon, while the second one is loaded with PBXN1, 10 explosive weighing 130 grams. Each grenade itself weighs 140 grams. Some discussions around this solution focus on the impact of the shockwave rather than shrapnel, and this remains a topic off debate. When it comes to describing the Mansus modules in a single word, versatility sums it up best. These modules come in different versions, making them suitable for mounting on various vehicles, IFV boats, and even warships. Check out the mini version of Mantis on a pickup truck, featuring a 7.6mm machine gun and a modular optronic system for reconnaissance, aiming, and firing. The most advanced Mantis version can engage targets with a 12.7mm machine gun and 32 40mm grenade launches. Both versions of the Mantis modules are effective against UAVs as well. If needed, the manufacturers are willing to create customized Mantis modules to meet each customer's specific requirements. In the future, the military and police may have surveillance systems built into their shields. The Xaver 400 weighs just 3 kilograms and can see through walls up to about 8 meters, including reinforced concrete walls. Video from this system is wirelessly transmitted up to 100 meters. The Zava 400 is effective even in clustered areas, as it can highlight both moving and stationary objects simultaneously. Speaking of shields, there's a special dolly that makes carrying them more convenient. It weighs 16 or 23 kilograms and not only helps with transport, but also allows for connecting several shields. The result is essentially a mobile mini. Fortress that's easy to push even on gravel or mud. There's a suit designed to safeguard mine clearance specialists, bond disposal experts, and similar professionals. The manufacturers claim to have introduced a groundbreaking innovation on a global scale. Let's explore the suit's features and see if it's true. They say the suit provides protection against shrapnel, heat, and shockwaves through a modular system comprising nine plates. It can be equipped with a breathing apparatus. When required, the suit offers options like lighting, communication, and views from built-in cameras, all controllable via the integrated touchscreen. If medical assistance is needed, suit components can be easily removed, and special handles allow for the evacuation of an injured specialist with the assistance of Rogots. Lastly, let's check out Inflatex work. They specialize in creating inflatable decoys. According to some reports, the company provides them to NATO member nations and produces approximately 50 decoys monthly. A regular inflatable tank from Inflatex weighs around 100 kg, yet it only takes for people and 10 minutes to set up. These decoys are pretty expensive, costing up to $100,000 each. However, this hasn't deterred customers last year. Inflatable decoys sales increased by over a third, 